four and six five four and twenty five four bill ten if you can start for a good five party two ninety seven Illinois Avenue. Uh, details are in the screen. So on February twenty first, two thousand seventeen, I was on another call when I heard dispatch sending officers to an address to try and locate uh, an armed and dangerous attempted homicide suspect. The individual we were looking for was found to be in a vehicle getting ready to leave from that location. One of his tires was flattened before he started driving away and didn't get very far with that car. Bailed out of the car on foot and headed straight into a retirement community. Uh, I was trying to catch up to him when, and I was gaining ground on him when uh, he turned around and, and started to raise a gun in my direction. I had my gun out, fired one shot at him, uh, and he tucked around the front of the building and I lost visual. I couldn't see him any longer. Probably an hour into my shift, I was asked to go to the Falcons channel and assist them with a call for service on the north end of town. We all met up. Uh, we had a supervisor that was monitoring that call, decided that we all needed to take a little bit more time with this. We were going to have Officer Pugsley and uh, Sergeant Sandoval go in from the front, but only after uh, K-9 Officer Ford and I came up from the alleyway. I ran to the kind of the alleyway and on the back side of this long complex with all these garage doors and townhomes and then the garage door comes up. Out comes this van just flying out of the garage, floored it. Well he came out so fast that when he turned, he overturned. And I can now see perfectly the driver's side and I can see that that was our suspect in that vehicle. I was driving an unmarked car at the time. So there were two marked cars in front of me and we were actually pursuing him. One of them was calling out the pursuit as we were going south on Union. Um, we heard a supervisor say a TBI was authorized. When we came up the circle, the light was red. Again, just absolutely heavy traffic. And his only way he could go was the right turn lane. And as soon as we could turn right, um, there was a pretty decent gap for us. And so Officer Whitmore, uh, that's when he decided to start doing the tactical vehicle intervention. So I tapped him and I got the car to spin. And I'm busy watching the car because I want to know if I'm going to have to hit him real fast again. When I see that he's losing control, I then drive my car straight into the driver's side door. I was trying to get real close to Officer Whitmore's car because I knew, okay, this is ending. We're not going to have to deal with this guy. Um, and I could not believe what I saw. I just I expected him to give up. But I could not believe when he raised that gun up out the window and started shooting through Whitmore, Officer Whitmore's windshield. And he's got this look on his face. He just kind of has this blank stare at me and suddenly this I see the gun next to his head and he's and he's coming forward with it. I pulled Officer Whitmore's right and I could hear gunfire coming from the van. I actually saw him raise his gun. The suspect raised his weapon, saw the muzzle flash and knew that at least he was firing into the police car. And so it was a horrible feeling. I mean our cars are still moving and, and I can't do anything to stop this suspect from killing my partner. And so it was it was horrible to watch. I could not get out of my car fast enough. So once we finally stopped to get out of my car and to start addressing that threat, to start shooting at that threat, to stop him from shooting at Whitmore, um, it seemed like an eternity. This one was the most mentally draining for, for whatever reason. And uh, just, you know, we're human. Thankfully for, you know, this shooting also, it was clear cut and dry. I, I knew what I had to do. And, and I could not hesitate in doing that because he had to be stopped. It doesn't happen a lot, and when it, does, when it does happen, I mean, it's a credit to everybody that was there that day. Everybody did what they were supposed to do. Everybody did their job. They did it in an excellent manner. Toronto 5, I'll be at Mary Lane and Circle shutting down traffic for Southbound. Mary Lane and Circle, thank you. I'm taking our suspect in custody, correct? 4 and 5-3 from dispatch is our suspect in custody. 